Welcome to the ACT Premium Cloud video series. In this video, we're going to explore contacts and how to store information in the contact record. What you're looking at right now is the detail view of a typical contact record. On this record, there are several different field types available. These allow you to safeguard the type of information that gets entered into each field. In addition to text fields, there are date fields, drop-down lists, monetary fields, simple yes or no checkboxes, and more. You can make any of these fields required, or you can set them up to be read-only for certain users in your system. These are advanced topics that we'll cover in a different video. One of the best pieces of advice concerning contact records is this. The more information that you can enter on this contact detail view, the easier it will be for you to utilize that data later. Try to enter as much information about your contacts as possible. The contact record contains all the information you see here on the upper half of the screen, but it also contains everything in each of the tabs below. These tabs are a valuable way of saving more details about each of your contacts. The Notes tab lets you quickly create and save basic notes about this contact that you would want to recall later. It could be something as simple as their favorite football team, the name of their spouse, or even the type of product that they like best. This typically helps salespeople connect with prospective clients on future sales calls. The History tab is a way for ACT to automatically generate and collect historical records for contacts. When you send an email to a contact through ACT, a history record will be created and stored for this contact to commemorate it. Other actions in ACT can also automatically create a history record for a contact, but you can also manually create a history record from within this tab. Looking at the Activities tab, this contains a list of scheduled activities for this contact. If you have a scheduled call or a meeting with this contact sometime in the future, it will be listed here on the Activities tab. You can also create new activities or even follow-up activities here as well. When you create an activity here, it will also show up on your calendar and your task list of something that still needs to be completed. Once an activity is completed, you can check the box to clear it. Activities that have been signified as cleared will be crossed out and will be moved to the history list in ACT. ACT will also create a record on the history tab of this contact signifying that you've completed the activity. The Opportunities tab allows you to monitor and make adjustments to the sales cycle concerning this contact. We will cover opportunities in a later video. For now, make note that this tab is where you can view opportunity data for a specific contact. The Groups and Companies tab shows you the groups and companies to which this contact belongs. We will look at both groups and companies in two separate videos later. The Secondary Contacts tab allows you to assign a subordinate contact to this contact record. For example, if your contact has an administrative assistant to whom you occasionally speak, you would want to add them to this tab for future reference. They won't exist in ACT as a normal contact, although you can easily promote them to a new contact when necessary. The Relationships tab allows you to set up a relationship between two contacts. This is especially useful when you have two contacts from different companies who may be business partners in some way. With ACT, the more information you gather will help you in servicing your contacts. The Documents tab allows you to attach a document directly to the contact record. You can choose to add the document to the database, or you can add a link to the document if you don't want it to reside on your database. By using a link, it will point to the document on your computer or shared drive rather than the database. Documents are useful when you have contracts that you need to review for any contact. The Web Info tab is an internal web browser within ACT. You can use it to link to the contact's website or even point to useful links on the left, such as their Facebook account, driving directions to their office, their LinkedIn account, and more. The Contact Access tab provides basic information about this contact record, such as who created it and when it was created. This tab is also where you can decide to restrict access to the contact record. If it's listed as public, Anyone on your ACT account can view it. You can choose to make it private 
or limit its access to select individuals. The User Fields tab is an area where we've provided 10 blank fields that you can customize for any additional contact information that you want to collect. The Personal Info tab allows you to collect personal information about your contacts. This includes things like birthday, spouse's name, personal phone numbers, email address, and more. The Final tab, the Timeline tab, gives you a visual historical record of what has happened with this contact over time. You can change the timeline to any desired date range, and this allows you to see a glimpse of this contact's history. Well, this concludes this video on getting started with contacts. You should now have enough familiarity and basic wisdom to know how to begin gathering data for your contact records. Next up, we'll look at performing searches and lookups from within ACT. <laughs>